So I've got a question. Have you guys ever played blackjack at the casino? I've played it a lot, lost a lot of money. It's a fun game, but it parallels to bodybuilding and life, if you want to take it that far. And I've got my reasons for why I think that. So I've got my cards right here. Dealer goes first, and then you. Dealer, and then you. Now looking at the cards right here, the dealer has a 20, you'd stay right there, right? You're happy, 20 out of 21, that's pretty content. And let's say this guy with the 20 is a guy with good genetics. He's ahead of you, and you're here with the 15. You can't do anything about the hands that you are dealt. Just like in life, I feel like. Someone's always gonna have a better hand than you. You might be here, down here with the 15. He's got the 20, but if you make the decision, just like this card player can right here, to play the game, to do the best that he can, and to try to beat the guy with the 20, you can't say that it's impossible for you to win. So this guy, he makes a commitment. He makes a commitment on his weight loss, his bodybuilding journey, and he says, you know what, I'm gonna do it, hit me, dealer. And sure enough, he makes some progress. He's at a 17. Now, is he up to the 20, this guy right here? No, he's not, but he's closer than he was before. And he's confident with the little bit of progress that he made. He feels encouraged. He says, hit me again, dealer. And now he's at the 20. He's at the same level of the guy that he was once looking up to. And he said, wow, I've, I've gone this far. I've got to just hit another card and see where I go. Sure enough, he hits, he gets a 21 and he wins the game. He never would win if he didn't make the decision to keep trying. And that might be with you right now. You make the decision to keep lifting weights, to keep doing what you can to move forward. And it's not about the hand that you are given to start with, because if that's all that it was about, the person would always win on top with the higher card. It's about what you do after you are given the hand that you are dealt. So you never know what is possible until you try, until you start a journey. And you can't put a limit on yourself right from the get-go just by looking at other people. Do these shots take a little bit longer to do? Yes. Do I have to walk back to the camera a bunch of times? Look like an idiot? Yes. But to me, they make the video more entertaining and that is priority number one. It's gym time. The things that you do for YouTube. Although, I do have to admit guys, I am getting better at operating this camera on the fly, including while I'm driving. Looks good. And something I'm learning very quickly since filming all the time and, and getting better at it, is you are always regretful of what you didn't film than being regretful of what you did film. It's kind of like the old saying, you're always mad at the shots or the opportunities you didn't take advantage of. That's how it is with filming. Today marks day five of the program. What's that? Yep, this is it. Oh, thank you. You have a good day. Take care. So today's workout program calls for, get this guys, 10 sets of squats. That is something that I have never done in my life and it definitely was not easy. And I did 10 sets doing doubles each set. So I decided to pick 275 for my working sets and that's honestly a conservative estimate. But I, here's my thing, my thought with this and since I'm just learning this program as I go along, I would rather pick a weight and start a little bit lower and build up than start too high and go down from there. You see what I mean? If you start low on this program, you're a little bit more conservative with your estimates. The only place to go is up and that is kind of my mindset. I'm just hoping to, to get stronger with this workout program, honestly. So 10 sets of squats, definitely not easy, but it did not get any easier from there because we had to do 
eight sets of sumo deadlifts and instead of doing doubles, we did singles and 405, which is the weight that I picked for this, is a weight that I have repped out for 15 times before. Actually, more than that, like 18, I think. 17 or 18, it doesn't matter. And the singles felt incredibly heavy because that volume of squats before and just looking at this program on paper you really don't think it's going to be that difficult you're like oh, okay just four sets here ten sets whatever and you do those optional recovery days which has been more bodybuilding oriented for me I did those sprints and it's honestly kicking my ass and after the deadlifts moved on to stiff-legged deadlifts and honestly 185 on this exercise it felt great to not like be pulling 405. It just felt really, really light, really comfortable. And I kind of use this exercise today as my more bodybuilding exercise, higher reps, because that is important for me to keep the higher rep stuff, the hypertrophy stuff up. I've been doing that for years. I don't want to go backwards in gaining muscle. I would like to move them both in a positive direction. And then the program called for some glute ham raises or some lying leg curls. Glute ham raises did not sound easy, so that's how we wrapped up the workout with some lying leg curls. I'm actually just finishing the workout right now, and I'm drained. It's time to go eat. I got a new car, guys. That was like one of the coolest looking cars I've ever seen. <laughs> Chanel thought it'd be a good idea to use the bathroom on the carpet today and then have me step in it while I was eating. We're off to get sushi. Guys, I just, I promise I'll never go to the bathroom again if you guys just leave me out this one time. Come on, it's time for bed. Almost every night before I go to bed, I have a fruit and vegetable shake. It's delicious, and it's nutritious, and I like them a lot. And I don't mean to toot my own horn or anything, but I think I'm getting pretty good at this vlogging thing. Leave a like if you agree.